By now, you may have heard a few things about me and my buddies in Delta Squad. Like how we recovered the resonator, detonated the light mass bomb, and basically saved humanity from total locust annihilation. Some say what we did was pretty heroic, a compliment I accept with the greatest humility. Pay attention, and maybe they'll say the same thing about you someday. These are the top five toughest Gears of War battles. The only way inside the hollow was through an opening at the bottom of the Lithia Emulsion Factory. Affirmative. Let's go. Great idea, right? Old creepy factory in the middle of the woods at night. What could possibly go wrong? Wretches. It's coming! They're everywhere! Turns out emulsion exposure turns these little bastards radioactive and explosive. Who knew? They'd already overrun the factory, climbing up every ceiling and hiding under every floorboard. Of course, there is one upside to fighting Glow in the Dark Locust. They blow up real good when you cap them in the head. After we escaped from the Tomb of the Unknowns, Dom had a great plan for catching a ride to the Emulsion Factory. Plan? What plan? You don't have a plan? You're just talking shit. Of course, this plan involved him and Marcus leaving Cole and I behind as hostages. I mean, <coughs> collateral. All right. All right, man. I'll do it. Yo, on one condition. They stay here, yo. That's collateral. We can use the extra guns, man. I think I made the best of the situation. We are going to get dysentery from this shit. Marcus and Dom finally found the Junker, roasted some krill, and got back just in time to take credit for rescuing the Strand. So yeah, next time Dom's got a plan... There, turn that shit off! Remind me to punch him in the face. Detonating the Resonator meant crawling down into the hollow and slogging through miles of drones and wretches. Good times. Before we finally reached the drop point. Of course, because it's us and our luck sucks, somebody was waiting. Damn Theron guards. Only thing worse than a locust is a smart locust firing exploding arrows. Cole and I provided cover fire while Marcus and Dom, of course, cleared the pumping station. Combat was freaking brutal. We did it! But I never doubted my squad. Hell no! <laughs> Great guys. The best. Finding a complete map of the Locust Tunnels meant taking a trip back to Marcus's boyhood home. Nice place. Turns out Marcus's old man had been holding out on us. Big shock! Cole and I stayed above ground while Marcus and Dom were down in the basement collecting the data. Then it all went to shit. Uh, guys, there's still a war going on up here? Get up here, will ya? Locust swarmed the house from all sides, so Cole and I hoofed it around back to safeguard the APC. Cause like hell if I was dying on the Phoenix family porch. When Locust blasted through the front door, Marcus and Dom held them off while Jack downloaded intel on the Locust tunnels. <laughs> Everybody move to the APC, now! And then, we hauled ass out of there, wouldn't you? <laughs> what the hell? Ruben! Just another day in Delta Squad. You know that feeling, when you're so close to victory you can taste it? And then it all turns to shit. That must have been what Marcus and Dom felt when they saw General Rom standing between them and the light mass bomb. That white grub bastard was lugging a troika cannon with a bunch of krill buzzing around him like a shield. The 
but Marcus broke through Rom's defenses and sent his sorry ass back to hell. Pretty damned impressive when you think about it. Hey, not saying I couldn't have handled it myself, just glad I didn't have to. The saying's all, you know.